Rallying is very much a two-man sport. The drivers, by their own admission, could not achieve what they do without their co-driver. Now, you might think co-drivers just read the pace notes, but this is a job that is nowhere near as straightforward as it sounds. Pace notes are the key to navigating through the stages. However, if you get lost, the consequences can be drastic, as Daniel Elena found out in Turkey with Sebastian Loeb, the pair running out of fuel and retiring from the rally. Michael Park was with Marco Martin in Kenya when he left his notes in the service park just before a 100 km stage. Fortunately, they had a spotter helicopter that was able to guide them through the rest of the test. Can you follow the helicopter? Okay, we'll try. Sometimes, though, you just lose your place, as Carlos Del Barrio found out alongside Chevy Pons in Germany. And Chevy didn't carry much sympathy. A trip through the vineyard didn't help Del Barrio's plight. His guilt plain to see at the end of the stage. And then you might simply misread a note, but at over 100 miles an hour, the effect is often catastrophic, as Paul Nagel found out in Corsica 2018. Tight flat, five left, open stop, 15 left, tight the fast, five left, good stop, three left, minus, and the two right minus. Oh, oh. Oh. Five left. And sometimes the job can be just plain painful. First, Daniel Elena winded on a jump and could barely read the pace notes. <laughs> then Timo Rautiainen actually injured his back on the very same kicker. <laughs> Worse was to come for Rautiainen, a steel pin piercing the bottom of the car in Turkey and going through his seat. Even Marcus Gronholm was concerned. Was it came some stone or something through Timo's uh, seat? Up in the Timo. And sometimes you need to choose your driver more carefully. Guido D'Amour feeling the wrath of Gigi Galli. Gigi followed this up by breaking Giovanni Bernaccini's nose when he threw him a bottle of water. Sorry, Giovanni. Then there are the random little extras that come your way. Julian Ingracia having to open a gate mid-stage for his driver, Sebastian Ogier. Four years later, back in Mexico, and this time it's Anders Jaeger being asked to step out of the car. Mechanical skills are also a requirement, but not often whilst the car is moving. Phil Mills here on the Spanners. Right minus Titans keep in, 30. Get the through! For the steering, yeah. it's in the back. Okay, see what I can do. So it was a case of getting the toolkit out in the middle of the stage uh, and tightening it up as going along. Uh, otherwise the steering wheel would have come off. If we'd have stopped to, uh, to do it, we'd have lost a lot of time. It's completely tight. Okay. We actually fixed it in the middle of the stage, put the steering wheel back on and we're still second fastest and uh, we still laugh about that now even to this day, but uh, don't want to do that again. Phil was again on duty for an extra task when a bird came through the air intake mid-stage. Not that Petter Solberg noticed. How lucky was that with that bird? Sorry? With the bird. I don't know. You would have done if I wouldn't have caught it. I don't, I don't know what they're talking about. A bird came in. Yeah. Finally, you have to be ready for just about anything. Daniel Elena starring again as he was forced to act as ballast when they lost the rear right wheel. He then had to negotiate with local police who were not overly impressed with his new driving position. 
or a co-driver, it's all in a day's work. Listen to me now. Carlos, está apretado. Si no funciona la pistola, la apreté, la reapreté. Good try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday to you. So, do you fancy having a go? One thing's for sure, this is not a dull job.